uh, I came to the University of Bath to work on organic synthetic chemistry. Where I worked previously, it actually, I knew several people who had come to the University of Bath and they all had very strong synthetic skill sets and uh, it was very obvious to me that this was a good choice to apply just because their knowledge was so strong in, um, in chemistry. And so that was, that was a huge encouragement to me to apply here. I've been really fortunate with my research groups and um, that it's just a great place to discuss the chemistry. Everybody is willing to discuss the, their research and that's been a huge advantage and it, it definitely accentuates what you're doing um, and, helps, and helps you figure out things maybe if you're struggling in one, one area of, of what you're studying, you can get help from others. So that's been helpful and then also just being in, being in Bath itself. Um, it's an amazing opportunity to live here and be in such a historical city. Uh, my PhD title is the Organocatalyzed Non-Enzymatic Kinetic Resolution of Nitrogen Nucleophiles. And basically what that means is I'm um, working with nitrogen-containing molecules and working on uh, catalyzing processes with them that don't involve an enzyme. So you're doing, using a completely synthetic catalyst in order to mimic um, different processes similar to what you'd see in nature. Uh, the reason it's important is because typically organocatalyzed processes, so non-enzymatic um, processes, they've been studied quite thoroughly with alcohols um, and nitrogen containing molecules haven't previously been explored. Uh, so that would be why it's important because it's uh, very limited research has been done on it um, in the past. So hoping to expand upon that. A typical day for a chemistry PhD student in my group is um, it would be running reactions on a daily basis, working them up, analyzing the data that you, you get from the reactions. So did I make my product or not? Uh, then also this would involve group meetings. So you have um, regular updates with your research group where you can discuss any issues that you're having, uh, what you've been up to, and then also problem solving sessions as well. Um, so you can really develop your chemistry skills further. So following my PhD, once I complete it, I would like to return to industry since beforehand I was working for a few years in industry and decided I would like to pursue a PhD in order to further my career options um, in the future. I would suggest to an undergrad to come to Bath for their PhD in chemistry, um, not only for the facilities, but as well as the department itself. I was very lucky with my supervisor and very supportive and um, very good guidance, and I know a lot of other students have the same experience.